All right, guys, I saw this at my local Harbor Freight today, and I was just curious about this thing, you know? This Gordon Emergency Survival Kit, 12 pieces. Just wondering, is this something I can just kind of throw together, throw it in the back seat of my truck somewhere, use it in my overlanding rig? Can I use it for everyday camping or what, you know? got 12 pieces, it says a stainless steel survival knife, 7-in-1 multi-use spork, flashlight, what's that, a pocket bellow, I don't know what that is, wire saw, uh, anytime I've seen these wire saws, you use them a couple times to heat up and they snap, water bottle clip, emergency blanket, it's usually just a little plastic uh, aluminum foil looking thing, Got some fishing tools, yeah, we'll see about that. Survival bracelet, fire starter, saber card, and a tactical pen. So, you know, when I think about a emergency survival kit, and you see something like this, you gotta kinda think like, in this day and age, where are you gonna be where you need a survival kit like this, you know? Today, a more or less survival kit would be a cell phone that you could reach somebody, you know, when you're out of service or something like that. I don't know. But, you know, is this something that you can add to your camping gear and, you know, just be able to pull it out and add some useful things in here, you know? Looking at the top of this, this knife, it's probably okay. It's probably some sort of cheap stainless steel you know does it need to be sharpened who knows this flashlight i definitely bought one of these off of amazon probably eight ten years ago it was a good flashlight is there ones out there better now yeah if you need a, a flashlight this one will probably work this spork thing looks like it's a 10 in one it's a whistle all types of things i don't know we'll have to take a look at it you know i'm kind of maybe against taking things from Harbor Freight and putting them in my mouth. But, you know, we'll take a look at it. Um, I haven't taken gone through this at all yet. I did cut the back open to save some time. So uh, let's open this sucker up and uh, get into it. This is how it comes. Like this. Got, you know, some information on the sides of everything. So let's take this sucker open and take a peek at what we got here. We got... Case, so I was hoping more for like a soft sided case or something like that. We got a uh, flashlight, so you got a hard says to get out. A little flashlight here. Let's see about this spork thing. It's kind of really in there. And then, uh, probably the, the gem of the thing is this ooh, pocket clip, this uh, pocket knife. I don't know, let's see. We'll have to see if this is like an everyday carry pocket knife or what. Feels good, it looks kind of futuristic. It's not something I would kind of pick if I was going to put together a survival emergency kit, you know. So, feels kind of sharp. I'll put that on the side for right now. I'm kind of really curious to what's inside this. Hmm. I don't know about this big branding on here. It looks all right, I guess, you know, I don't know, whatever. You can probably put some stickers over that or something. But you know, I got a, I would call like a starting of like an overlanding rig type of uh, Toyota uh, 4Runner. You know, that's what I kind of use a lot of my Harbor Freight tools on is to kind of, you know, upgrade that, keep it running, you know, that type of thing, so. That's where I spend a lot of time in here. We got some uh, instructions here. I don't know, if you need instructions on how to work a pocket knife and stuff, this might not be the right video for you. Got a uh, bunch of things. Looks like this ferrule rod thing, the, the fire starter thing. It's got a ruler, why you need to measure something when you're surviving, I don't know. Um, bottle opener. If I had a bunch of beers, I don't think that I'd be in survival mode. Uh, the scraper is for scraping the rod, and there's the rod. A little magnesium would be good. I don't know what this thing is. Okay, wire saw. Okay, so let's take a look at this. 
We got this survival blanket. Yeah, I don't know. It feels a little thicker than what I would think a normal one would be, but not too bad. I'll put that over there. Let's see how this stuff is uh, in little packages. So we got some fishing line. Let's open this up and we'll see what type of a. Got one single hook. Got this little jig. Can you catch a fish on this? Yeah. Is it the one I would want to have if I had to survive my life on uh, catching a fish? Probably not. I would probably take this out and replace it with something different. You know, maybe not even a fishing rig. So we got this uh, survival uh, thing. I remember back when I was, uh, I don't know what, how old I was, but when the Rambo movie came out, they had those Rambo knives everybody was selling, and they had all the little gimmicks in there, you know, stuff like this. Needle and thread, like you are going to sew your body back together like Rambo. I had one of these things in there, and I tried sawing through a small log, and as soon as this thing heated up, it snapped in half like nothing, you know? So, I don't know. It's probably the same thing. I wouldn't want to use this, rely on this for any type of survival. I don't know what the heck. It's got the keychains might be useful, the swivels might be useful, but as for this cable thing, yeah, these things aren't any good. So another plastic bag. We got, um, got this thing with the compass on it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I got big hands, I'm, you know, got some big mitts here, I don't even know if this thing will even fit me, you know, let's see, I gotta take this off camera, give me a second guys. Yeah, I don't know, this might take a little work, but, uh, yeah, I could get this thing on my wrist, like I said, I got, I got big darn wrists, you know. But I think what these are really for is if you need the uh, the string on this thing or the, whatever this is, parachute cord or fake parachute cord, you can unwave this thing and uh, use it to fasten up something else. Is this compass going to work? Yeah, probably. But I mean, like, where are you at these days where you, you're so far out in the middle of nowhere, you're like lost in the woods any, anytime soon, you know? I don't know. I'll put that over there. This uh, rail rod looks fairly big. It's got, I don't know what this piece of cardboard is on here. It must be protecting you from the, the multi tool or whatever. So let's check this out, see what's going on here. I guess, you know, if you left this on here and uh, this piece of cardboard or whatever you could help use this as some uh, kindling or something like that to get your little fire going, you know. Who knows, we'll see. Okay, that knot came out nice and easy, so you got this uh, ferrule rod, you got the bottle opener, the measuring tape right there, look at that measuring tape, because you got to do some millimeter measurements, you know. And then I guess we'll see if this thing still has a spark. Hmm. Let's see. You really need to. What's going on here? Hmm. I've seen some of these other ones where they just. Maybe, I guess it'll throw a couple sparks on there, but. And I don't know about that. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. I shot some off there. There we go. You got to use it on this weird angle like that. Okay, so that works. I don't want to start this this uh, little set on fire yet, so. Let's see this. This is the tactical pen. You guys see this? This is a all-metal pen. Uh, see, it does. Pen retracts. Got a nice big uh, clip on here. 
And then it's got this thing on here for uh, breaking windshields, you know. And I'm trying to think, I was trying to think about it, and I was like, and I've been thinking about it for a while. And it's like, okay, well, this is to, like, shatter a window of a car. So there's only a couple times I could think of where you could shatter a window of a car, or need to shatter a window of a car. One is if you're trying to break into the car. So in a survival system, I don't know, maybe you're in an apocalypse with zombies or something, you got to shatter a window, get in there, and get out of there because the zombies are coming. I don't know, you know. The other instance would be, like, let's say your car got submerged in water and you got to get out, okay? So chances are this pen <clears throat> is not going to be right next to you where you can crack the window and get right out, you know? But that thing is sharp, you know, it'll probably do something, you know, I don't know. It's a nice looking little pen, I guess. And then what's this? Uh, put this right here. We got this multi-tool. Everything's all wrapped in this plastic, which I guess might be good. This is uh, one of these little multi-tool things. I don't know what you could do with this. I mean, I'm not going to like, I guess I could maybe, maybe if you're going to make like an animal trap or something like that, you can use this saw. It's kind of sharp, you know, to kind of do something with. And then here's another beer bottle opener and something, I guess, where somehow you could use this for wrenches and get some more things to measure with right here I don't know I don't know, I don't know. What do, what's the circular thing with the lines around it for measuring something I don't know I guess you could use that for something comes in this little leather couch, uh, pouch or not leather it's a pleather pouch you know this thing hmm let's see I don't really don't know what this is it expands out like a big baton you definitely couldn't really hurt anybody if you're gonna whack them with this thing or nothing hmm uh, you know what I got it this thing's for see it's hollow inside you think well okay maybe it's got some blow darts or something like that you know you know what it is is it's for starting a fire when you got a get up next to it and blow into it and that's what it is so you're facing right next to the fire there we go that's what this thing is not too bad whatever this I kind of on the fence with this too because you know if you're going to use this as camping gear this is probably not something that you would use but what this is is a water bottle carrier your belt okay so let's see it's got some velcro in there i guess if you need velcro for something you could take it out of this or whatever but this thing you put your water bottle on here and then you can hang it off your side and you know if you're going a long distance or whatever this probably wouldn't be bad it would probably get irritating to me kind of jingling a water bottle on my hip or whatever you know but you know this, i guess it's definitely something that could work so now we got the uh spork so, I don't know. I mean, people love these things. They use them a lot. It's like I would just be fine with a spoon because I don't think these teeth are enough to really kind of like stab a, you know, a piece of corn or, uh, you know, a carrot or anything like that, you know. So it's kind of a feeble attempt, but I think that's kind of what they... To me, I would call like an industry standard, you know, what a spork looks like, you know. So here we got another knife. Hmm. And another bottle opener. So in case, you know, you're throwing a party while you're surviving, then, uh, you know, you got enough bottle openers to open up all the beers, you know. This is a whistle, it looks like. So let me, uh, I'm going to back up from this one, toot this whistle. Shh. Oh boy, this is a good one here. Hmm. So far, it's not uh, sounding too much like a whistle. We gotta have this in there. Hmm. Maybe blow in this side. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not sure about this. Uh, you know, if I'm if you, I'm just blowing in this uh, whistle hole right here. It's been a while since I've had to blow into a whistle or anything like that or a breathalyzer or something. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys want to leave something in the comments if I'm blowing in a whistle wrong or whatever, you know. But uh, this is probably stainless steel. It's probably not going to rust. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be fine for eating a can of beans or something like that while you're surviving, you know, or whatever. Uh, flashlight. This was supposed to come with batteries, but for some reason I don't see any batteries. Oh, you know, there's a, something in there. Oh, I see. It's got this piece of cardboard in there. So just so you guys know about Harbor Freight, these batteries right here weigh about a third of what like a Duracell or Energizer battery weighs. These things are horrendous. I would not buy these just for the mere fact that they're going to probably wind up sitting in a garbage dump somewhere a lot sooner than most people would predict. But, you know, this is a nice little light. Mine had a zoom on it, I thought, but this has no zoom, but it's not a bad light, I guess, you know, if you got to find something or whatever on the ground and you, you, know, you dropped your other flashlight or broke it or whatever, you know, this is not a bad one to have. It's kind of got a... Uh, it's got an optical uh, magnifier, whatever you want to call it, inside there, you know. So now we get to the hidden gem, this knife. It's got a really good feel to it. I got big hands, and it fits my hand really nice. Let's see. Got this pocket tip clip protector. Um, let's see. Obviously, it's a Gordon knife. I don't know what that says. Uh, GK23. I don't know what GK23 stands for. It's, I don't think it is a steel or anything. But it does feel pretty darn sharp. And one thing I don't like about it is it's uh, tipped down carry with the pocket clip like that. It does not look like you can transfer the pocket clip over to here. So it looks like it's just a tip down. So let's see what the action's like. Oh boy. Hmm. You can flick it. Definitely you can flick it. Flum th thumb flick it perfectly fine. It does have a finger uh, flip on the back. Hmm. Let's see what we're looking at. Lock up is actually really good but oops finger flicking this thing is definitely no way to do it I guess I know some of these knives you uh, pull it back a little bit and then the pocket thing get there to the lock get thing gets stuck over way too far but I don't know so it's a knife you know I guess with this we have to check what we call the the industry standard of sharpness. I got a piece of paper here and we can uh, see what happens with this. Let's see. Oh wow, look at that. Got caught up a little bit right there. Got a little rip. I don't know, it's pretty sharp though. If you needed to uh, cut something, I would definitely say you could uh, do some cutting. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I would say you know, it's got another one of those uh, real important window breakers right there, you know. Hmm. It's a nice little uh, little knife, I guess, for what you're doing, you know. I guess we got, you know, there is a knife on this uh, spork, so I do have another piece of paper here, and we can see what happens if you uh, do some cutting with this thing. Okay. I guess it'll kind of slice a piece of paper here. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Spork is uh, kind of disappointing. The whistle doesn't work. 
the uh, the fork uh, teeth on here are kind of maybe not worth anything and I'm not gonna go on to go like work on my car or something with these uh, with these uh, octagon holes in here and this I don't even know that's just the design I guess you can open the best thing about this is probably open into beers you know um, only problem is you're probably gonna lose the valuable whistle here and once the whistle is gone then uh, you know you're gonna be have to like hold on to this thing with this uh, brutally sharp knife right here and then that could cause you some problems so <clears throat> This thing, let's I'm going to give this thing another try. Actually, I'm really kind of highly disappointed in this thing. It'll throw a couple sparks, but maybe it needs to be broken in. You know, it's got like a, a paint on there or something that uh, maybe that needs to be scratched off or something first, and then it works better. As a survival kit, I don't know. Would I recommend this? Is this something I want to throw together and uh, put it in the back of my Forerunner in case I break down somewhere? I don't know. Is this something that I want to take camping with me? I had a little higher hopes for it, but right now I don't know. You know, I've uh, the tactical pen's kind of cool. Because sometimes there might be a situation where you need directions for something, you need to write something down. But, you know, how hard would it be to put some uh, paper in this thing, you know, for you can write down with this uh, with this pen, you know? I guess it's not a perfect kit. you, you got to put some things in here. But, you know, they got that waterproof paper or whatever, so you got to take notes. And waterproof notepad, you can write down stuff and uh, put it in there. Ta tactical pen's not bad. Feral rod is mediocre at best. Water bottle clip... I don't know how useful this is. I guess it, it was if you were lost in, you know, Moab or something. I don't know. This thing, I'll never use this. The blow thing, yeah, this is a nice little camping thing. I mean, you know, nowadays most of the time I'm not going to be uh, searching for tinder and all that type of stuff to start my fire. So I'm probably just going to have some gasoline, you know, but whatever. This is an emergency uh, flashlight. Possibly. Knife. Could you cut something? Could you gut a deer? Could you, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's definitely sharp. It's sharp enough. How long this edge is going to last, you know, that's yet to be determined. But uh, it's an alright knife for what it is. I. The other thing I've always been curious about is, you know, it's got this hook on here. And some people say this is for, like, cutting your seatbelt or something like that, you know. I don't know about that. I really don't. I, I've, I've had really sharp knives that have that, and it doesn't do nothing. And I don't know what, what you're supposed to do with this. If you want to cut a piece of paper, how's it going to cut through a seatbelt? You know, I, I see there's some sort of a sharpened blade area in there or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. These, I can guarantee that these things will heat up and they will snap is there a situation where you need the key rings and the swivels yeah probably an emergency situation could you use this emergency blanket yeah these things are used all the time they're used to help make up uh, shelters they're used to help to just keep you warm keep that wind blowing off of you can you signal somebody with these if you're on a trail and you're broke down somewhere or something can you, you 100%. I even saw a video where this guy can just strap these around his face and um, kind of be able to trek through the snow. And you, you can actually, when your face is right up on these, you can uh, use it for snow blindness. So, you guys seen what I went through with this. This thing is nothing special. Is it worth 25 bucks? I'm going to say no. No, not, it, it really isn't. Is there a lot better stuff out there? Yeah, there's a lot better stuff out there. You can make one of these one of these kits that'll cost you two, three hundred dollars with the way things are these days, you know. So 
I'm going to say this is probably something that uh, I'm going to see if I can get my money back for or whatever because it's definitely not worth it. I would not want to take up space in my truck with this thing. Um, is there a couple things I might keep out of this? Maybe. I'm thinking the flashlight. Maybe the knife. Maybe the spork just to use it for some beans. This is kind of a neat thing for the fire. I never really thought about this. I've seen people use sticks or whatever that are hollowed out. But this is kind of neat maybe to keep in a camping kit for something, if, you know. I'm thinking you have a late night one night and you wake up the next morning, bonfire's almost out and you need to get the bonfire going and throw some logs on there. And Man, I'll tell you what, you get that smoke in your eyes early in the morning, that, that is a brutal thing. So with this, be able to be far away from the fire. Yeah, I think that's something you could definitely keep around. The case. This, these cases are, what's, what's this case worth? A dollar, two dollars, a foam in here, you know, whatever. There's a bunch of better cases out there, you know, but then you're looking at fifteen, twenty dollars for a de decent canvas case. Is this thing waterproof? No, it says water resistant. Would I trust this thing going underwater? No. I mean, you look at the corner right here, look at the, the, the uh, I don't know what this is, the gasket or whatever is already kind of falling out of it all I did was open the thing I'm gonna say no so I'm gonna say the Gordon survival kit is a bust um, this video is getting really long so I know you guys are probably looking at the elephant in the room You're saying to yourself man that looks like a gear wrench well if you want to know more about it Video will be coming up in a couple days, and there might be some information about a secret Quinn Ratchet Silent Recall. So stay tuned. All right, guys. As I say, dump the truck and maybe dump the survival kit. I'm out.